Hey guys, it's Tim. Time for another daily rift. This time I'm going to be booting up the Demon Hunter yet again, although a little bit different. I'm going to run this one with Kreider Shot. Um, with, of course, the Frost Arrow, the Cold Arrow, the best one, the most coolest, awesomest one that there is. Um, and we'll just see how it goes. I, th I think it's going to be fine. I mean, at this point, my gear is strong enough. I can basically run like whatever gear setup I want to do, and Torment 6 is going to be pretty, pretty easy, pretty straightforward. So... Um, the other nice thing is that uh, since I had just been using the all guilds uh, bracers and no other all guild item, I uh, just decided to start wearing my nemesis bracers. So now I don't have to swap anymore. How convenient, right? How convenient. Alright, now I've been playing my barbarian like a ton lately, and then I was just on my crusader a little bit ago. So if I die, uh, I'm actually kind of nervous about it because... Uh, I've been playing those those guys so much, and I've been kind of neglecting my my demon hunter so much that I guess I'm not very comfortable with this anymore. Holy moly! This is not good. This is not good. So, kind of on that note, um, if you guys have uh, you know been stopping into the stream or anything like that, you probably know that I have been working really pretty hard on my barbarian. Um, it, it's going quite well. Um, I'm doing still just torment one with him, but I have the uh, oh shoot. That was a misclick. <laughs> um, but I do have... The, oh! <laughs> but I do have the... Uh, nice little surprise. I do have the Earthquake set on my Barbarian right now. Um, I'm just waiting to get the Lut Socks. So I'm one item away from the Immortal King set. One item away from basically the Earthquake build. Um, and so I'm really looking forward to that. It, it's only taken about a total 40 hours played time so far, so far to get... Uh, three earthquake pieces and a ring of brutal grandeur which which gives me the earthquake set then you know um so really not too bad at all that's a lot better luck than my blasted crusader has gotten oh my gosh my crusader is like i don't know why blizzard hates my little crusader more than anything else um they really had an impact or influence on kadala kadala gives him nothing but uh anyways they've definitely kind of made up for it with my barbarian though you know what? I, I thought this is actually going to be decently fast, but it's kind of noticeably slower compared to the Manticore. That's really unfortunate. Like you guys have heard me complain about the uh, about the, you know the way two-handed crossbows are just basically so much better than um, than two-handed bows and even one-handed crossbows when it comes to the Sentry build, the Marauder six-piece build. Uh oh, uh oh, uh oh, uh oh. Um, all I want is for Kreider Shot, the rarest bow in the game, not the crossbow. The rarest is Calamity, but the rarest bow in the game being the Kreider Shot. Man, you should be awesome. You should be crushing with that thing. But I'm going to try not to complain. going to try not to complain because um, it is still pretty fun. And I am still very grateful for how awesome the game is compared to what it had been before. So I, I'll try not to complain a whole lot. Um, but anyways... Yeah, so my Barbarian's coming along very nicely. I'm having a lot of fun with that one. I don't know if I like it better than the Crusader. Um, so far, I kind of do. It. I need to wait until I'm at least Torment 4, you know, before I can really, truly decide what, which, like, which one I like better. Um, but I think the Barbarian may be coming out ahead right now. The Demon Hunter is still definitely my favorite. Hands down, my Demon Hunter is still my favorite. Put the most hours into my Demon Hunter. Um... I love how, how the Demon Hunter plays. I'm definitely a ranged class at heart. And uh, so, Demon Hunter's still my favorite. But it is kind of weird. Like, I, you know, I'm definitely a ranged hunter, at, or a ranged uh, character at heart. However, I don't really like the Wizard or the Witch Doctor so much right now. Um, it's not that they're bad. It's not that I don't like the spells. Just the way that the spells play out, it's just... It's just not the same as the Demon Hunter, you know? Um, and that's good. Like, there's absolutely nothing wrong with that, you know? You don't have to love every class for it to be an awesome game and for it to be really well done. But uh, it is just kind of weird that I really like ranged classes, but I don't like I, but I don't like to play those two as much as the other ones, so. So I get tells um, more and more every single day from Demon Hunters who are assembling they're, they're a Marauder six-piece bonuses, so I just want to send out a congratulations to all you guys. Um, 
I get a lot of Demon Hunter tells and then a lot of Crusader tells too. You guys are really rocking out the, the those are con sets. You know, I think part of it part of it is you guys are just sending me those tells in your Crusader because you know how much I've been suffering on my Crusaders. You guys are just sending me say, like, hey, I got the I got the Akon six piece, got the Akon six piece. I'm like you bastards, but no, I'm, I'm I'm seriously happy for you guys. I mean, it's a lot of fun putting together a set. Is like, man, there is little little else in the game that is more rewarding than finally putting together a six piece set like that. I mean, I still remember like what it was like when I put the four piece set. I mean, I made a video on it. Go back and check, right? My when I had first put together that four piece set bonus on the Demon Hunter how excited I was, and then, man, when I got the six-piece bonus going, oh, my God, so freaking awesome. Like, that's why we play the game, you know, you know, that, that that's totally why we play the game, is for those those moments, and um, I think it's awesome that Blizzard, Blizzard has really done a good job of creating those moments. Um, I think they there still is quite a bit of work to do. Um, as they've said themselves, they are going to be working on some of the sets, I know I've mentioned that in you know in a video in the past. They will be working on some of the sets, and I think that's awesome. Um, but I think it's definitely still going in the right direction. Um, I'm really looking forward to ladders more than anything. I think that's really what the barbarian uh, playing has done for me more than anything else. Is it has pumped me up for the seasons for ladders. Um, if you guys have been watching my Torment Six Challenge videos with my barbarian, you guys know how how much I live for those moments when like a legendary drops and there's a chance that it's an upgrade like that right there is an awesome feeling and what seasons and ladders do is they allow more of those moments like if all we had was like if all I had for a demon hunter was this one demon hunter forever for the rest of the game like for the rest of the life of Diablo 3 all I had was this demon hunter the amount of those moments or the, the number of moments that were like an item drops and excitement because like this could be an upgrade, the number of those moments would be infinitely lower compared to them adding in seasons and them adding in ladders. So just playing in my Barbarian, I'm just going through the game, I get like a, a legendary Mighty Belt drop. Now who gets excited for Mighty Belts right now, right? No one does, except... For someone who just started to play the, a, like a barbarian right then you're excited for that and so number one that that too is like you know the feeling that I live for you know like when you see or not not that I live for it but that I play for but uh, like you just you play in order to get those moments where it's like yes finally I got an upgrade this is gonna be awesome you know like before you identify it before you know exactly what it is you know like you, you're, like, you're just really, really pumped. You're really excited. Um, and the awesome part about it is the difference between finding a legendary now on my Demon Hunter that I'm still excited about versus finding a legendary on my Barbarian that I'm excited about, right? So on my Demon Hunter, if I get a legendary ring, or let's say I get a leg a, like a pair of legendary set, I don't know, pants or something like that right no boots let's just say I get I, you know I get like set boots like I'm, I'm super excited because those could be an upgrade and so like that's awesome um, however in actuality the chance of that really being an upgrade is really not all that good um, I mean I have a decent pair of boots I don't have to have the Marauder boots to make my set good um, however when the same thing happens in my Barbarian the chance of that drop being an upgrade is super high. There, like, like, there's actually a really good chance of it being an upgrade. Like, I have like a good solid pair of boots right now, but there are so many ways that those boots could be upgraded. So many ways. Whereas right now, my Demon Hunter, there aren't that many ways that a pair of boots could be an upgrade. Like, very, very few. Even if it's the right pair of boots, even if it's a Marauder boots, there's still like a limited number of ways that 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 thing could roll for it to actually be an upgrade whereas on my barbarian there are tons of ways for for a pair of boots to be an upgrade um it could be lut socks it could be uh, like you know a good pair of black thorns that i could be using it could be immortal kings um it could be just overall better stats um all sorts of different things 
and uh, that's only something that you can have if your character is less developed than, for, you know, for instance, my Demon Hunter is. So, my Barbarian is much, much less developed than my Demon Hunter, and so all those legendaries, those set items that drop, um, more of them will carry with it a certain level of excitement that I cannot achieve on my Demon Hunter at this time, um, until they implement the Seasons and Ladders. Then I'll be able to make like a new Demon Hunter and go through and get that same experience. Get the same experience that I got when I first put that, that Marauder 4 piece together. Hopefully get the same experience on the new Demon Hunter. So I'm really looking forward to that. Now the other thing that is awesome about starting a Barbarian like I have, well like really one of the reasons that I started it to begin with. What is this? Come on you guys, are you kidding me? How am I supposed to move? Um... One of the reasons that I started it is because I did not want to twink my Barbarian. I did not want to move anything over from my Crusader. I did not even want to get gold. Like, I have over 300 million gold right now on my North American account. I did not want that for my new character. I did not want the recipes that I had. I did not want the gems, the, the thousands of gems that I have on my North American account. I did not want that. I wanted to start it as though someone who had just picked up the game installed it and is leveling up their very first character. That's the experience that I wanted. Um, because, let's face it, um, when you look back fondly at any game, it's usually like those games where you're a complete noob. You know, to where you have nothing and you're struggling. You're struggling through the game. And, you know, getting these little minor wins here and there. Like, those are like the really fond memories that you have. And so I wanted to try to recapture that again on this Barbarian. And so far, like, I have. Like, it's been a ton of fun. Um, it's been a struggle. But that struggle is what makes it fun. Um, the struggle of not being able to have enough gold to enchant an item. The struggle of not having a forgotten soul to enchant an item or to roll up a set item. The excitement of finding a set item plan, like a recipe even though it's a bad set, like the Guardian's Jeopardy or whatever, right? Um, like, the excitement of finding that because that could actually be useful to you. For once. Like, there's no way that the Guardian's Jeopardy could be useful on my North American account right now. Like, none of my characters are gonna need that. None of them. So that thing just sits on Hadrig completely unused forever right now. Until Seasons. Then when it drops again, if my character is undergeared, if I don't have any, um... You know, if, if I don't have a good helm or a good, uh, see, what is it? Helm, bracers, and I think, uh, belt or something like that. Like, if I don't have those, no, boots. Yeah, who knows? Um, like, if I don't have those, that could potentially be an upgrade for me. Like, a bad set, truly. Like, yeah. Or an, a not so good set. It's not an end game set. You're not going to use that thing in Torment 6. However, there is a place for that. And what you miss out on once you are fully geared out on like you know at least one character and you can find items for your twinks and stuff like that you know what you miss out on is is the usefulness of those mid-range or those low and mid-range items and so yeah seasons are going to be awesome looking forward to that a ton and i really do have to say it's an really it's a really 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 good thing that they increase the legendary drop chance because i cannot really imagine playing it with much worse legendary drop chance on my Barbarian, starting out from nothing. I can see people getting very discouraged, um, you know, with an experience like that. But they, they've they been dropping in good numbers. Um, I, I've been getting upgrades. Not, like, awesome upgrades. It's not like I'm getting, like, um, like the best items in the game, like, right away. Although I did get kind of lucky, I will say. But um, if, if, like, the drop chance were much worse, maybe I would have gotten discouraged. Maybe... Maybe I would have gotten like a lot more discouraged, and so I think the legendary drop chance so far is is still spot on. Um, the other thing that I think is really important that they did that I did not really consider because it never really applied to me um, was gold find. When they increased the gold find, um, I'm struggling with gold right now. I can't imagine it worse than what it is right now for me on my barbarian. Um, so definitely that was probably very very much needed so if you're wondering what they did with it they they changed it so that uh gold find on items it's multiplicative like uh, it so it's basically going to scale up a lot quicker 
Okay, so so if you have something on uh if you have like plus 50% gold fine on your items, it's actually taking the the inherent gold fine in the level or in the difficulty that you're in and multiplying that by 50 per, or adding 50% of that instead of just adding a a 50%. So it's like if you have plus 100% magic find from running a certain difficulty um, and you have a plus 50% magic find that's now going to be um, well 150% that, that's actually a really bad example um, let me try to do that again say you have a thousand percent magic find here let's see what I have right now Matt okay gold find 3469% so let's say I have 3000% magic find and I have an item that gives me plus 50% magic find before, from what I understand, before it was just adding the 50%, so now I suddenly had 3,050%. whoop de doo right? What a tiny, tiny impact there. But what they changed it to is now it is taking, it's it's basically adding 1,500% now, because it's 50% of the 3,000%. So that's really, really nice, especially for, for like the newer players who are going to be struggling with gold. I mean, those of us who are running High Torment levels and stuff, we, we weren't really struggling with gold very much at all because, well, um, the High Torment levels are really rewarding. But for the lower characters who are trying to get up to that, I mean, you like, you don't want that curve to be, like, a really harsh, difficult curve. You want it to be... You, you want it to take time. You want it to be gradual. But uh, you don't want it to be impossible at the same time. So I think it's important that they change that. I'm glad to see that. But anyways, I mean, nothing else really has has been going on with Diablo 3. Um, it's kind of in a, in a lull right now, I think. Um, a lull after the changes that they made, which are really, really good. And now we're all just playing with those changes. Um, we know what's on the horizon. We know that tiered rifts are on the horizon. We know that seasons are on the horizon, ladders are on the horizon. It's just a waiting game once they're actually ready to release that stuff. So um, we definitely have a lot to look forward to, but right now it's just... To be honest with you, man, it's just it's just time to enjoy the game as it is right now. So be careful, you guys, when seasons and ladders come out. Number one, it is going to be a shock for those of you who have been playing and who took a bunch of gold over from Diablo 3 Vanilla into Reaper of Souls. It's going to be a shock. It's going to be tough. It's going to be it's going to be a challenge. Um, you'll get through it, but it's going to take some grinding. It's going to be uncomfortable too. You're going to get on a new character and you're. You know, you're going to be like, this sucks. And, you know what? Maybe it's not for you. Maybe it's not for everyone. Because Ladders and Seasons will not be for everyone. If you enjoy your characters as they are right now, then by all means, continue playing them. That's what they're going to be there for, right? But uh, definitely prepare yourselves. If you plan on playing Seasons and Ladders, prepare yourselves for a painful experience for a little while, but also for lots more positive, fun, legendary drop experiences. And if you're upset, if you think that legendaries are like in a bad spot right now because not not enough good ones drop, just bite your tongue for a little bit. It's going to be a different experience come ladders. Those items that you thought were just complete garbage and should never have been added into the game, well, you'll be using them. You will be using them for at least at least a little while. You will be using them, so definitely be ready for that. But the other thing is, definitely keep this in mind, guys. This is like, like we're playing like in Season 0 right now, right? Or, or basically, I guess maybe Season 1, you can consider it. And so, all your characters, right? If you plan on playing Seasons, do everything you can right now with the characters that you can. Because once Seasons come out, if you plan on playing them, chances are you won't really touch these guys again very much. Um, I like that that had happened back in Diablo 2 you know it's like you think to yourself I really like this character once the season's over I'll probably just continue to play it well I said that many times and I never did so um, I'm getting as much playtime in it you know, as I can with this this demon hunter as she is with all the items that I have and just enjoying it not getting attached to it just having a good time with them and uh, knowing that it's only a matter of time before my demon hunter will be basically dead. She'll be gone. She will be gone. 
But, uh, you know, it's okay because I'll be able to replace her with uh, maybe a better demon hunter or maybe a witch doctor or maybe something else. I don't know. As, as my new main. But, all right, so we got 108 shards here. Let's go ahead and do this real quick before I, I turn the, uh, the daily rift off. Let's gamble up. I'm still working on my blasted crusader. Oh, my God, that helm looks ugly. Um, still working on my crusader. I cannot get those Akan pieces at all, so... I've been using these blood shards that I'm getting from doing uh, rifts on my demon hunter. I've been using them on my crusader. Alright, come on. Give me some pants. Give me some pants. Give me some Akan pants. You can only carry so much from Crusade. You can only carry so much from the Crusade. Ah. I thought that last one was gonna be it. Anyways, guys, um, I will be playing tonight. Um, I, I'm continuing to stream er, um, almost every night, uh, you know, again, too. So be sure to check out my stream at twitch.tv slash I'm the Matrix. Stop by, chat with me about Diablo 3. What do you make of Seasons, Ladders? Are you excited about that stuff or not? And tell me why. And um, we've had some really good conversations about, you know, the direction of Diablo 3, the ups and downs of it, other games that are out there, how it compares, like, with Marvel Heroes and stuff like that. So definitely feel free to stop by and, and just kind of chat about the game. But um, anyways, thanks again for watching. Be sure that you um, like and subscribe if you, if you like and you want to subscribe. And uh, I will keep putting out videos for. All right, have a good one. Bye.